All right, well, hey, everybody, it's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. Yes, I shoot all of my review, weekly review videos on the same day, which is why I'm wearing the same t-shirt and hat in every video, and why by Wild Card Wednesday, which is today, it's a lot foggier in here than it was on Mech Mod Monday. But welcome to Wild Card Wednesday. What we're going to be talking about today in a kin cool fire four like ruby Roo, i'm wondering what happened to the cool fire three they did the cool fire one and two the two is the one that looked like a hand grenade then three just didn't exist and suddenly we have the Inakin cool fire four we're going to be talking about this mod we're going to be talking about this Inakin i sub tank which is working surprisingly well in order to get to know both of these just a little bit better we're going to go up close for a quick short uppy closey time All right, yeehaw, let's spend a little bit of up close and personal time with the Cool Fire version four. As you can see, it's a teardrop shaped regulated device. Don't know what this is for. Don't know this, no idea what this little loop is for. String, maybe you can hang it from something from your little belt buckle or around your neck. But regardless, this has a 2000 ma LiPo battery on the inside. It's variable wattage up to 40 watts, variable voltage up to seven volts. The display, very, very uh, simple, very, very, okay. Well, now it's telling me check atomizer because there's nothing attached. Thanks, Inakin. You have a battery level indicator, 30 watts, voltage, ohms. The display only stays on for about five seconds. And yeah, you can swap back and forth between seeing your wattage and seeing your voltage, whichever one you want to be bigger, and it'll show you your ohms as well. The Unikin button is nice and clicky, lights up green when it's fully charged, lights up yellow when it's slowly dying, and is finally red when it's like dying, dying, dying. Three clicks on, three clicks off, and you get a little light show. Has a spring-loaded 510 connection right there it's a stiff spring but it is spring loaded all i see is an angry face i see two faces on this that's that's an angry face and that's a confused face the usb and the two adjustment buttons is the confused face but yeah it has uh it has a lot of power it's got a lot of power a lot of battery life i've uh, thoroughly enjoyed using this i just like the way it fits in my hand and i use it you know you can have the round part against your palm and hit it with your finger or you can have the round part against your fingers hit it with your thumb it all works very very well and additionally it does work well with their inakin i sub tanks i mean that's a cool that's a fancy little combo right there and real quick on the i sub tanks they released two of these different tanks. One of them is four mil capacity, one of them is four and a half mil capacity. This one's glass, this one is plastic, PTE plastic, I believe. They both work, they both work fine. Yes, the iSub is made from a German-made polycarbonate, four mil capacity, organic cotton heads. The iSub G for glass, I'm assuming, uh, looks like a lot of other friggin' sub tanks out there. What's great about these sub tanks is the way that the coil heads attach is interesting. It's unique. So here, let me get back to my camera. We have this, and this is the airflow. So you can see there's a whole lot of airflow happening over here. If you could open it up like this, look at that. Look at all that airflow that's happening right there. That is the airflow on the uh, atomizer head right there in fact that's the bottom of the atomizer head poking through the bottom to fill this up and to you know replace your coil heads you take that off and on the i sub regular version the polycarbonate version this tank as far as i can possibly tell i don't want to make the same mistake i did with the arctic it doesn't come apart this drip tip doesn't come off this doesn't screw apart in any way. I can't figure out how to get it screwed apart in any way. This is all one piece. In the G version of the tank, it works very much the same way, but tank comes off just like that, and then you have a top part. The tank's just held in here by a little uh, silicone uh, gasket, so just be careful when you're filling it. I mean, if you're holding it from the tank and you're filling it up and you go, oh, and then, you know, tank comes apart, juice goes everywhere. Tank pops back on there. Whoops, what am I doing? Coil head pops back on there. And they work very, very much the same way. And what's great about these Inakin tanks is you can fill them up literally right to the brim because of the way that these attach. So, here's the coil head. Slides out the bottom. 
which is weird. Usually, you take your coil head and you screw it into the base. Inokin decided to do it completely differently and have it slide in through the bottom. You can see kind of on the inside right here, there's a little clear silicone O-ring and that holds it in place. There's two flat marks and two round sides. Those line up with these flat marks in there. So you just put it in, it slides in flat just like that. And then you put the base back on and that, you know, will hold it in place. Then you have your coil head in there. There's a screen over the coil head to prevent spit back. Now, on the first couple coil heads I used, I was getting a lot of dry hits. Now, Inokin has two juice flow holes, one, two juice flow holes on their coil heads. Now, these are organic cotton coil heads, and they might have it eh, maybe packed a little bit too much. The second coil heads I used worked much better. The third coil heads I used one of them got me dry hits, so I'm interested to see what happens. So I'm just going to put this coil head in here. I'm going to put the base on here. And I'm going to fill up this tank with some juice. And like I said, what's great about this tank is you can just fill it up all the way to the top. Just go nuts. And this is obviously a much tedious, longer process if you have a, a glass bottle dripper than if you had a plastic bottle but I'm just gonna fill this up. We're just gonna keep filling. We're gonna fill it up to the brim. Fill it, more juice, then fill it, then more juice, then fill it, and I got juice on the friggin' outside, then more juice. Okay, well that's, that's, that's reaching capacity there. That's getting, ooh, that's getting to the top. You can really, really, truly top these off, uh, I mean, to the brim let me get that juice I got spilling everywhere but yeah you can truly and honestly fill these to the brim and then you take your coil head base with your coil head in there I'm just gonna screw this down on here and what I'm gonna do since this is a brand new coil head is I'm gonna flip it upside down and I'm gonna let it sit now I filled it up all the way and it's already kind of looking empty but here's the thing there's a lot of space down in this base on this particular, R, yeah, I don't know what they call this, sub-ohm tank. There's a lot of juice uh, space in here. So when you flip it upside down, it still looks very, very full. But when you flip it like this, a lot of that juice goes down into this base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit. I'm going to turn the airflow off. I'm going to take a few dry hits just to get the juice flowing where it needs to go. I'm going to let it sit. I need to get those coils nice and wet. And the only reason I didn't prime the coil with juice is because it has that screen over it, which kind of, ah, uh, it gets in the way of priming your coils. So I found with the Inokin ones, the best thing to do is just fill up your tank. See all these bubbles happening? That's juice going into the coil head. Close off your airflow and take some dry toots and you'll see more and more bubbles happening. Do that a couple of times and then you'll be ready uh, and then you'll be ready to vape this. So yeah, let's reattach these. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape this nonsense. Normal view. Normal view. It's just so damn comfortable to hold. That teardrop shape is very comfortable. This is how I like holding it. I wrap my fingers around the teardrop shape and I hit the button with my thumb occasionally the device itself is great it's got a good long battery life charges via USB variable wattage variable voltage up to 40 watts up to 7.4 volts clicky button battery indicator on there you can flip your screen around you can choose which is the big number on here whether it's your voltage or your wattage it's got a spring-loaded 510 2000 ma or milliamp hour battery it's a cool ass little device the on off switch is on the bottom so you can turn it completely off which is simple and easy to do you turn it on you turn it off you turn it on you turn it off or you can give it three clicks one two three and it's locked and then when you press the button nothing happens it says that it's locked and then you go one two three and now it's unlocked and you can vape it these tanks these tanks uh, these tanks these tanks me and these tanks didn't get along at the beginning uh i got these tanks and i threw some coil heads in there and i was vaping them and i was just getting a lot of dry hits
which bums me out. The thing to remember when you're buying these coil heads is that, yeah, they're made in China. So their quality control is probably not spot on. They're probably not quality testing every single coil head. They're probably testing one out of every thousand coil heads. You know what I mean? So some of them are just gonna be junky. And I happen to get those junky ones right out of the gate. Thankfully, when I filled up the second batch of them, I, I, put, I was like, oh, this isn't good. I put new coil heads in there, new juice, washed it all out. Worked great. Worked great, worked great. Then uh, started getting funky, so I'm like, ah, oh, I'm gonna change my coil head. The other coil head I put in there, same thing. Not good vapor, not good flavor. I was getting dry hits. The Inakin coil head seemed to be a bit inconsistent, which really bums me out. But this one that I have in here right now is working really, really well. Now, this is gonna get a lot of comparison. It's a tank system with a mod. You don't buy it together. You buy these separately, but it's a lot like that Kanger Subbox Mini, isn't it? The Kanger Subbox Mini comes with a tank and a device with a single 18650. This is sold separately, but it's the Inakin tank, the Inakin device, and an internal battery that you charge via USB. A little bit of comparisons there. I really do, I really, really do like that Subbox Mini, and I think the Kanger coil heads are more consistent than the Inakin coil heads, but with that said, this, this is a nice vape. I really do like the power and battery life that this little device gives me, and I really do like the coil heads overall, even with a few bunk ones in there. I really do like the coil heads. They've given me good flavor, good vapor, good performance. Additionally, the airflow on these iSub tanks is really, really nice. One man cloud comp? Yeah, sure. It's good. It's just a good vape. I've really, really enjoyed it. This is gonna. This is one of those, you know, going out. Uh, if I have to go run errands, I'm gonna take this. If I have to go to a rock concert, then yeah, I'm gonna take this. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's great, and the best thing is the price on these. And I'll post links in the description to where you can get all this stuff. I'll post you links to the Inakin site. I'll post you links to wherever I found these. Where did I find these online? My Vapor Store. My Vapor Store always comes up first. My Vapor Store has the Cool Fire version four in stock, thirty-seven ninety-five. That just buy it, thirty-seven ninety-five. That is, uh, to me, that's a screaming deal. No vape budget, hands needed. I'm gonna try to find, uh, let me do some quick Google foo. Ha, yep, my vapor store has the Inokin iSub tanks, 12 bucks. 12 bucks, 34 bucks for the mod, 12 bucks for the uh, tank, and you just fill it up with juice and you'll be vaping your little face off in no time. I feel like this is a really great deal, a really great buy. It's a really great vape. Um, got nothing but nice things. Nice things to say about you, Mr. Inokin Cool Fire 4. It is what it is, and I'll have links in the description where you can check out all this nonsense if you want to. That's what I got for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And as always, let's keep on vaping. That's enough.